Hi guys, Master Indigo here. So day two of Scarface packs is live. We got a spotlight trailer which shows mostly the perk deck and the weapon. So we are going to take a look at the web page now. As you can see here, it's the Scarface character pack is the 11th character pack for payday 2. Step in the shoes of the legendary gangster Scarface trademark. The Scra Scarface trademark character pack also in includes the little friend 7.62 signature weapon lumber light l2 chainsaw and kingpin perk deck so we have character here let's see character press that okay it's nothing mask all right Scarface character back the one and only Tony Montana aka Scarface is one hell of a heister aggressive and ruthless he craves the American dream Tony wants wealth power and respect and he is fearless enough to take it all everything so that's his mask let's let's take a closer look so white red and black really cool looking mask I kind of do like it. It fits the persona of the Scarface character. And as a gun, he does have the signature Little Friend 7.62. Okay, so that's a little bit different than it was in the movie. Because in the movie, he did use AR-15 rifle, basically. Which is already in the game. And that's, I don't think that is 7.62. Magazine of 10 D 20 total ammo of 40 damage of 160. Okay, this is something entirely new Really high damage assault rifle only for the ammunition and 20 of magazine size so two magazines So that's not a lot of ammunition, but damage is high So maybe this actually could be used on higher difficulties. It has a concealment of six so it will be Pretty shit on Dutch builds, stability of 44, threat 22, pretty nice accuracy at 72. And also it does have the under barrel, under barrel grenade launcher here. I'm not sure how do I access that here. Loading 3D model. Time to say hello to our, your little friend, a full auto converter rifle with an under barrel grenade launcher attached. Pretend to reload and then surprise your enemy by swapping your bang with a boom. Two weapons in one. Ping between them with the, in blink of an eye. Friend is two weapons in one. So it will take attachment slot. So whenever you press Q or whatever key you have are using, it will change to the grenade launcher. Kind of like if you used flip sights on grenade launchers same key or lasers and so on okay you can see a 3d model i was trying to make it full screen but it's not working at the moment so here you can see under barrel grenade launcher and so on all right anyways let's move on to perk deck here the kingpin perk deck the king kingpin perk deck is like the kick of a mill on crack. Step yourself with this loaded loaded injector and you'll cease to feel pain and become completely fearless for a short period of time. Thanks to the loaded mixture of chemicals running around in your veins, you'll able to rampage through the battles like a maniac scarring the living shit out of your enemies. First perk here is bad guy coming through. It will unlock and replace your trouble, so grenades and so on with the adrenaline injector. So I actually thought that maybe adrenaline injector would be something that they added to a place of medic packs and so on, but well, it replaces trouble, so that's interesting concept. You will be able to use the trouble key to activate the adrenaline injector when you need it. Alright, when you step yourself with the loaded injector, you will cease to feel pain and you will be able to rampage through enemies, okay? Sounds really good at the moment. So, 
when the adrenaline is used you will be healed instantly for 75% of the damage you take during the next 6 seconds. Okay, so it's 6 seconds per adrenaline shot I think. And if someone is shooting at you, you will automatically heal 75% of that damage so you technically are only taking 25% of the damage after the injector is used it will it takes 30 seconds to recharge before you can use the adrenaline again okay so you cannot spam it but I do wonder if you have only one of these and it's always available after 30 seconds or is it limited amount of uses or something like that but each kill you perform will speed up the re recharge by one second okay so if you do kill enemies a lot you are going to decrease the speed from 30 seconds I think to 20 seconds 10 seconds and so on could, could be quite easy second perk is called play rough do you wanna play rough? We can play rough, okay, play rough. Increases your armor by 15%, letting you fight through the pain a bit longer. Okay, so nothing special, but could be useful. Then we have public enemy number one. Whenever you are under the effect of adrenaline, enemies will choose you as the preferred target over your teammates. So if you do inject your adrenaline, enemies will shoot at you and not your teammates that could be really useful in some situations where your teammates need to escape you can maybe sacrifice yourself because if this works properly every enemy should be shooting at you then we have bolts versus bullets bolts versus bullets increases your armor with 5% so total of 20% so far. In addition, whenever your health it drops under 50%, the amount of damage converted into health by the adrenaline is increased by 50. So if your health drops below 50%, so half, you will gain more health by adrenaline. So normal was what was it? You will heal 75%. And on top of that, you will heal 15%. Okay, sounds pretty nice. And the last perk is right to the top. The final perk is right to the top. It increases your armor by 5%. For while at full health, any amount of healing provided by adrenaline reduces the re duration of recharge by 3 seconds for every 5 healing lost. Alright. That sounds really good. He did. I'm not sure who was talking on the trailer. Maybe it was Joachim from Overkill. I'm not sure about the voice, but he did play on Overkill. I mean, Deadwish on the background footage, and it looks looked like he actually was able to hold hold off quite nicely with this perk deck. So it sounds really nice, but we will have to see how it will be actually in use, usage. And how much of a cooldown is the 30 seconds. And of course, if you kill enemies, it will be less, but if it's enough and so on. The melee is something that I expected. It's the chainsaw damage only 30 if you don't charge and 200 if you do charge. But there is no cool animation for it pretty much. It just, you don't actually try to shoot your enemies, whatever, with the chainsaw, you just kind of flip it. So that that's kind of disappointing, here's the 3D model of it, kind of orange saw, with that... Tradwerk, trad, Tradwerk, I pr believe that's how it's pronounced, Tradwerk, Tradwerk, I'm not sure, my Swedish is a bit rusty. Lumberlight L2 EDX, okay, so... Charge time is 4 seconds, I assume that seconds because it only shows a number 4, range of 185 centimeters, so pretty long, concealment of 25, so surprisingly high, but not the highest. The Lumber Light L2 Chainsaw, for those more intimate fights, bring your Lumber, e <laughs> lumber Light L2, a roaming road 
frothing madness of a chainsaw. No one wants to get close when you are swinging this heavy metal beast. Trust us on that one. For those enemies that are really hard to break open. So, I was kinda expecting that it would be something like this, but I hoped it would be something really gory. Like, you just rub it up, and every enemy you do will slice up in meat pieces and so on. But kinda disappointing on that, and the stats don't seem impressive, at least the 30 damage, I'm not sure, 200 damage on higher difficulties, with a 4 second charge time, that's not really good. And it will be out tomorrow, and we are going to get a look at the heist tomorrow as well, as whatever else stuff comes with it, masks and so on. So this will be the character pack, it will be 499, it launches tomorrow. We don't know yet who is voicing the character, but you can hear some of the lines. I think, I need a medic pack or something like that, you could hear that in wherever the character tab here. There's this video, the spotlight trailer, you can hear some of the voice lines there, but not much. I'm not going to actually watch this now, because, or am I that special going on there, just explaining the perk, everything that was actually already explained here, so. You can go watch the video now, but if you want to, it's, it shows you that it can be used in Dead Witch at least and shows that it could be useful but we shall see tomorrow and later on when I, whenever we can actually test out the DLC. So be, cam be sure to come back tomorrow for day 3 where we are taking a look at the heist and whenever the DLC launches hopefully a little bit sooner than 12 a.m. as it's now so I don't have to stay up all night. I'll be doing some DLC videos as well. Anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. This was Master Indigo's day two of Scarface's heist. See you on my next one.